Alrighty, so this is going to be brief, mainly because I have a crazy cold <coughs> and a crazy cough. So I'm not sure how long this can last here. So when I was watching this, uh, I, was, I was reading through your email, and thank you for the notes. As always, they're super helpful. Um, watching this, I think it's been a while, so it was kind of interesting watching this again. Kind of interesting how far we are starting here. It's, it's almost like you could start, maybe not even that, but like around here and do a curve, something uh, like that. There's something about being so close to this and then, you know, you almost wait for something in here to happen. <coughs> I mean, it's almost like you could have the chopper come through here. Maybe that's like something like that. I know this changes the whole thing. I'm just curious now if we're too far to the left giving us so much room here and we never really cross until like only later i'm only saying this by having you know the chopper maybe here and do this or potentially go even further <coughs> because it would establish a stronger feeling of right to left which then goes here what i would do is um have the shots come from here but there are a couple of things that are not quite working here a is because they start so small through here and they're throughout so small you never get a sense of uh foreshortening that it comes from our pov they just kind of um appear and you're gonna have to have i would do it's gonna be tricky like i would personally do longer ones and then definitely have, even if it's something simple, just impact spheres. Because <coughs> right now it feels like they're just kind of, it, it almost could pass as a targeting system, like a LED, HUD, something. Because given the camera here, it feels like, well, are we, is this a POE from the chopper? Because we are translating a ton here. And again, I might be unraveling a ton of stuff that I didn't mention before, but it's interesting having it, having such a long break and then seeing it again. So sorry if I'm rambling here, but it feels like <coughs> this is a POV from the chopper, which can work. Why not? But the problem with the POV is that, well, when you shoot, the guns are stationary, you know, not that this has to be the cockpit, but it would be something where the guns would be like this or they come from here, but they would always come from here. So the tricky thing is that how your your origin point travels throughout the shot, you know, like suddenly they're up here and then, whoa, they're suddenly up here. That's that's a weird thing that, that I don't quite connect there. So if you could just make that, you know, a consistent thing. And even if you have like something, you can even go bigger and have something in frame from the chopper if needed, but I'm not sure if that's needed. But definitely impact points will be cool. That's still cool. <coughs> Sorry, I said it's going to be a crazy cough fest here. That's all cool. I think that works really well. And then um, what you were saying about this here, I think it's going to be okay. I think the way you can do this, uh, and I remember what you had light coming from here, meaning that if it's coming from here, you're going to have shadow of the Hulk here. You know what I mean? So when he hits this, you can play it as, well, now the shadow is only here. And as he connects, the shadow is clearly here. You know, so you can see the lighting is going to help connect with that moment. The only thing that was weird, which I didn't understand, was this. This is the flat lighting, and there's not a huge amount of parallax. Is that a foreground element? Is that a wall? It's just a weird moment of, what is this? They're such simple shapes. I'm not understanding what that is, and... And it's a weird moment where he really suddenly comes to a full stop and then leans back. To me, it feels more you want to do like, boom, 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 boom. and then at this point, it would be a um, a full charge pose again. He just hit this wall and it goes full blown into something else. You don't see this uh, these sides here, <coughs> and that's how you that's how you stop the sequence. It's like you're taking a chunk out of a longer sequence, and that's what you present. Versus this feels like a weird ending. It's almost like the chase is over. I mean, the only way this could work is if 
it was a clear moment of this is a wall and he can't go anywhere and then like a, a spotlight gets on him and he turns around and casts a shadow you know like he need, and then it cuts to a close-up of his face going <laughs> like something like that like then i can see a continuation based on that idea but other than that i'm not super sure uh and then watch out like right through here it's also the momentum stops pretty quickly and it's almost like the camera stops to translate this way right when he stops translating this way which is a weird bit of a connection there so overall super cool just a couple questions and little concerns and I'm sure things that i totally missed and that you will know uh, an answer to for whatever the english thing is all right thank you all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.